So, a few days ago, Huawei officially released a Harmony OS 2.0 system for mobile phone developers. The company also immediately released this update for a couple of Huawei phones. The Harmony OS 2.0 public recruitment supports Huawei P40, P40 Pro, Mate 30, Mate 30 Pro, as well as MatePad Pro. Interestingly, according to reports, beta versions of Harmony OS 2.0 have started rolling out to more devices, including the Huawei P30 and Mate 30 Pro 5G. And now, we also got the first look of the Harmony OS running on a real hardware. But before further we do, if you do end up liking what you see here, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now let's get back to the video. The user interface of the Harmony OS 2.0 is EMUI 11, which is adaptable to both Harmony and Android. In addition, this OS is fully developed by Huawei, supports Android apps, so everything from the app gallery should work. The interface looks familiar, this is because it's EMUI 11, which was developed with both Harmony and Android in mind. Also, Huawei's in-house OS fully supports Android apps. So, the latest posts on Weibo from people running the new firmware indicate that Harmony OS is not based on Android, despite previous reports. Harmony OS is designed to seamlessly integrate various smart devices to implement fast connection and a whole raft of activities between the devices. The design ensures that services can be seamlessly transferred among the devices to produce a smooth all-round experience. Harmony OS also uses distributed technology to make application development possible on different device platforms in an efficient manner. In addition, the Harmony OS deploys a component-based software design to fit itself to any particular device forms on the basis of their individual characteristics. Anyway, Harmony OS 2.0 beta has already reached some devices and many more may be eligible. So, what do you guys think about the Harmony OS? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.